Hello guys. So in this session, we are going to learn how to install and configure Elasticsearch on Ubuntu 22.04 LDS. So let's start. So first of all, let's understand what is Elasticsearch. So Elasticsearch is an open source tool which is used to store logs. Elasticsearch is a NoSQL database on Lorenz search engine. And after storing logs, we can also search it and index it. And in Elasticsearch, we can store and analyze large volume data management becomes more easier by using Elasticsearch because it offers simple deployment. So that's the small introduction about Elasticsearch. So now here I mentioned some prerequisites. So here I'm using Ubuntu 22, 0.4 LTS. Then we need Java 8 or higher version, then two CPU and 4GB RAM. So let's install Elasticsearch. So here, as you can see, we have successfully launched one instance. The operating system is Ubuntu and here you can see, we have successfully logged into our Ubuntu server. Okay. So now let's install Elasticsearch. So first of all, we need to update our system package. So as you know the command how to update sudo apt update. So let's update. Okay, so you can see it's done. Okay, so let's clear the screen first. Now, the next command is here. Install the apt transport HTTPS package to access repository over HTTPS. So let's use this command. Okay, let's start. Now let's clear the screen. Now, the next is here. We need Java. So you can install Java 8 or higher version. So here I'm using Java 11. So let's install JDK 11 first here. So yes. So it's installing Java 11. It takes few seconds to install Java. So wait for few seconds. Okay, so as you can see, it's almost done. Okay, it's done. So let's clear the screen first. And after that, let's take the version of our java so how to check so run the command java hyphen version to check java version you can see jdk 11 okay now let's clear the screen so we have successfully installed java 11 now the next step is here setting the java home environment variable so to define environment variable we need to open this file the file location is slash etc and the file name is environment so I'm using my favorite editor, Nano. And here I'm going to remove this path. And here we need to set the path of our Java. So our Java path is here. So I'm going to add this line into this file. Okay. Now save the file and exit. Okay. After that, load the environment variable using 
this source command. So let's in run the command. Okay. Now to check the Java home path. So let's run the command. Okay. So you can see our Java path. Okay. Now it's done. So now let's install Elasticsearch. So now let's, it's time to install Elasticsearch. So how to install? So here you can see download and install the public signing key. So first of all, we need to download public signing key using this command. And after that, here, save the repository definition to this location here. So for that, run this command. Okay, now let's clear the screen first. And after that, let's update our system package. Okay, it's up to date. And now let's install Elasticsearch using this command. Okay, now let's clear the screen. And now, here, let's start our elastic search. So it takes few seconds to start elastic search. Okay, now let's check the status of our Elasticsearch. So how to check? Here you can see command. So you can see it's active running. That means we have successfully installed Elasticsearch on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. Okay, so let's enable our Elasticsearch. Okay. Now, after that, here, now let's configure Elasticsearch. So how to configure? So let's make changes in below configuration file. So first of all, we need to open the configuration file. So here is the configuration file. And here we need to make some changes. So the first change is here. So let's scroll down here, network host. Here we need to uncomment this line and we need to replace this IP with 0.0.0.0. That means any IP address. Okay. And after that, the second change is here. We need to add this line in, into this discovery section. So let's copy the line and go to the discovery section. Scroll down here. We need to add this line here. Okay, after that, go to the security section. Here. Here. As you can see, enable security feature is true. So I'm going to replace with false. Okay. 
now save the file and exit and as you know after changes any configuration file we need to restart our server Take few seconds to restart. Okay, so let's check the status. You can see it's active running. Okay, now let's clear the screen. After that, here. Now it's time to testing Elasticsearch. So let's test Elasticsearch using curl command. So let's copy this command and let's test in our terminal. So you can see the output, you can see cluster name Elasticsearch and the version and the IP, IP address, our instance IP, you can see, same, you can see. So that's the output. Now, if you want to check the output in your browser, so open your favorite browser and then copy the uh, instance IP here and open your favorite browser, paste in your instance IP colon and the Elasticsearch port number is 9200. Now, you can see the same output in your browser. You can see the IP address then cluster name and the version and so on. So that's the elastic search, right? Okay. After that, it's done. We have successfully installed elastic search. After that, if you want to uninstall your elastic search, so the command is here. If you want to uninstall elastic search, then you run the below command. So first of all, we need to run this command to auto remove elastic search then remove elastic search then this command rm rf okay so if you want to uninstall your elastic search then you can use this commands okay so in this session we have successfully installed elastic search so thank you for watching